Well, the Bulldogs are back this weekend. Fresno State football kicks off its season this Saturday. Players will be facing some fierce competition. USC head coach Jeff Tedford says the team has to focus on the first game things. When you don't get a chance to talk, you know, to go live every day because you just can't because your players end up getting hurt. Uh, it's all the little things: ball security, uh, decision making. Obviously, being on the road, handling crowd noise, and you know all those things. But you try to touch on every single thing you can, you possibly can. Take care of every detail. All right, so let's bring in our sports director, Andrew Martin, who was at today's press conference. Kind of let us know how it all went. Welcome. Yeah. Uh, hello, Maddie. So <laughs> Jeff Tedford is very detail oriented, and he okay. wants to get every aspect of every game covered, both long before the game even gets started. You know, he's that guy that will sit in the film room. They they want to have the pregame meal together as a team. He's as prepared for the season opener as any coach that Fresno State has ever had. And the Bulldogs are coming off a 12-win season last year, so wow. there's a lot of hype surrounding this. Year's team. Yeah, and you said that last season it was pretty unprecedented. Like that's some of the most wins that they've had. Yeah, what was kind of crazy was when Tim DeRuiter was the head coach, he took over after Pat Hill. His first season was 2012. They had Derek Carr on those teams, and Derek Carr was one of the best quarterbacks in Fresno State history, still wow. probably the most popular player that Fresno State has ever had. Uh, he led the Bulldogs to a nine win season in 2012, an 11 win season in 2013. Jeez. 2014, 15, 16 didn't go the Bulldogs' way. In comes Jeff Tedford ahead of the 2017 season. They win 10 games two years ago, 12 games last year. So don't really know if you could do much more than a 12 win season because it's wow. very difficult to win every week. But the Bulldogs are in a very good place right now and they'll get a really tough test on Saturday. Well, and you said some of the press conference, they said some of their key players they have for this season. Who, what are some of those for this year? Right. So the biggest name is Jorge Reyna. Uh, obviously, the biggest question mark, the most important position on any team is who's going to be your starting quarterback. And Fresno State Sense. was fortunate that for the last uh, season and three quarters, they've had Marcus McMarion, kid from Dinuba. So you had a local kid playing quarterback, and he was very good also. They wow. went 21 and four with him as the starting quarterback. But he graduated. So now you got to find the yeah. next person to take over that mantle. <laughs> It's going to be Jorge Reyna this season. We're seeing video of him right now. Uh, obviously, when you're out there on the practice field, you can't wear red. Typically, quarterbacks wear red in practice, and red means don't hit the quarterback. But the Good Bulldogs call. wear red. So you can't wear red on the practice field if you're a quarterback because, <laughs> oops, you don't want to accidentally hit and injure your quarterback. No. But uh, Jorge Reyna is going to be their guy this season. He did see some time, uh, what we just saw briefly, the season opener last year in, in, some, uh, in some backup minutes. But he's the right. guy right now. So he's going to be the most important piece of that offense. Um, aside from him, there are still some question marks. Ronnie Rivers is going to be their main running back at wide receiver. It's completely wide open. They have some guys on, uh, on the defensive side of the ball like Michael Walker, uh, Juju Hughes, names that. Uh, Bulldog fans are quite familiar with, but this team is really going to be very different than it was last year because they lost over 30 players from last year's team. Wow. So they have a lot of depth. They're still going to be good, but we don't know how good just yet. Yeah, they got to kind of figure each other out in that gameplay and see how they work with each other. Exactly. And team chemistry, people talk about it all the time. Oh, it's a cliche, and this may work, and this may not work. If you don't get along with the people in the clubhouse, in the locker room, depending yeah. on what sport it is, it's very difficult to get along with those guys on the field. But so far, Everything looks, you know, everything looks pretty good for Fresno State, and the Bulldogs were picked to win their division within their conference. So uh, they don't start conference play okay. for, you know, but until they get through the non-conference portion of the schedule. Mm -hmm. And they have two buys too, which is kind of crazy. They have two buys within the first five weeks of the season. So before they get to conference play, they have two buys, four games and two weeks off. Oh, it's a very geez. interesting schedule. It is interesting. And they have USC this Saturday at yes. USC. That's the opener, the season opener. The last time they went to the Coliseum was in 2014. Didn't wow. go so well for Fresno State in that game. Then they come home the following Saturday against Minnesota. That's going to be their home opener. And okay. then after that, they have a bye. And then they've got Sacramento State and New Mexico State. And then conference play after their second bye. Oh, geez. And this weekend, I mean, it's pretty important to, you know, play well, kind of get your confidence up, but it kind of sets the feel for it, the rest of the season. It, it, it does. One of the things that's really interesting about college football is in the NFL, for example, if you lose a game, you can still get into the playoffs. You can still kind of work your way back in because you play every team in your division twice. Okay. In college football, they say that every game matters. And that's true because if you lose one game, you may be out of luck when it comes to playing for your conference championship. You're certainly you know, not going to make it into the college football playoff unless you happen to be in Alabama that uh, is able to get away with it a lot of times. <laughs> but Fresno State is in a situation where 
every week matters. And okay. especially when it comes to the fan perspective, when it comes to, you know, I mean, numbers are going to be dictated by how the team does. If they, let's say, get blown out at USC this Saturday, which I don't expect to happen, but if mm -hmm. it does, then for the home opener against Minnesota, you're probably going to see fewer fans that would show up if the Bulldogs had beaten USC, for example. So every game kind of dictates how the next game goes. And when it comes to the head coach, he'll go back through the game plan. He doesn't sleep during football season because after imagine. every game, he'll take whatever <laughs> game notes he has, whatever you know, film he has on the bus ride back or the plane ride back. He's already looking at what went well and Jeez. what went wrong for the next week. That's incredible. And you guys have full coverage for all of this, right? We do. Between myself, Scott Bemis, and Julia Lopez, uh, we also don't sleep during football season because <laughs> we focus on the high schools on Friday. Uh, Saturdays are all about Fresno. State and then on KC24 right here on Sundays, um, I host Bulldog Insider, which starting September 8th will expand to an hour. Scott and Julie are obviously uh, key cogs in that machine as well, but we try to have the best Fresno State football coverage in the market, and I think we Absolutely. do a pretty good job of that. Well, I hope you get a little bit of sleep this season. Uh, but... Tonight, maybe. <laughs> <All right. laughs> tonight, maybe. It's game week for us, too. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us and talking football. You bet. Anytime. <laughs> Appreciate it.